YouTube, how are we? Full day of eating today. I'm sort of dipping my toes in the water because this is week 16 of this cut. So it feels a little bit weird to kind of jump back into YouTube, almost sort of coming to the, the very end of a cut. It feels a little bit weird. So what I'm sort of seeing this as is just kind of testing the waters, seeing what you guys like, what you don't like. And then once we get onto or back into a bulk, that's when that's when you guys can follow along the process, the journey um, of, of myself. So full day of eating today. This is a training day. Just finished my um, fasted cardio, hence the fiddling with the watch. Um, that's done. So fasted cardio done, had a black coffee, pre-run um because yeah yes i'm i'm having to run <laughs> don't ask um about 20 30 minutes post fasted cardio come back and um, wait for the the heart rate breathing rate to go down um, and then we go in with meal one so this serves as post run so breaking that fast um but also pre-workout so i'll have this and then two hours We'll hit the gym. Um, today we're training pull. Calories for a training day, um, 1,996. That breaks down into 250 grams of carbs. Trying to get as much of that peri-workout as possible. 44 grams of fat and 150 grams of protein. This meal here is some golden syrup oats, oat milk, banana, half a scoop of whey made into a paste drizzled over the top. And we've also got a little... Satsuma as well. So, gonna eat this, dive into this, and uh, then we'll head off to the gym. Today is Wednesday, so it is an online coaching day, so I've got plenty of check ins to dig into, um, but then it'll be my turn to train. So, yeah, let's get on with the video. Let's talk intras and pre-workout so current intra going in with 15 grams of the jpeaas um alongside of five grams of creatine um i really do need to step up my my creatine game actually um in terms of the brand and, and quality that i'm getting but that's besides the point um so that'll obviously be what i drink intra um, pre-workout, I'm very, very um, picky of pre-workouts. One of my biggest pet hates is people that just abuse pre-workouts. Um, I don't necessarily think it's wrong to use them for every session. Obviously, <clears throat> you know, if that's what you want to do, if you train with, you know, some, some real intensity, some, you know, fair enough, fair play to you. Um, for me, I'll take a pre before what I hate to say before a big session because they're all big sessions um, but before like the the like the most demanding sessions of the week I find that with push sessions I don't need a pre-workout with legs and any kind of pull or posterior based days um, for me a, a pre-workout is just a good way to uh, to get the noggin engaged. Pre-workout choice at the moment is Naughty Boy. I'm loving this. Um, MV Pre 2.0 is the GOAT, but it's not an everyday. This is something that I can use often and, and get away with. Day one, in fact, to be fair, for this entire week, very um, low volume. Obviously, you know, going back in, you don't want to be going from zero to 100. Okay, it is time to train. So today, like I say, we're on pull. Um, today is obviously a, a full day of eating, so I'm not going to dive into today's training. Um, but what you can do, if you want to, is see this full session, um, reps, sets, all exercises over on the member site. Um, so obviously that is always going to be linked down below. 
don't worry, it's not, it's not going to be like that every, um, every video. I'm not, I'm not using these as adverts, don't worry. It's just today is a, a full day of eating, so I don't want to, don't want to block it up with a, a load of training videos. But of course, if you are interested in getting a, a little bit more of an in-depth guide on today's session, head into the, the link in the bio, sign yourself up to the exclusive member site. Um, no, it's just a, it's a community over there thoroughly enjoying making the content um, but I'm also well, I know that I'm a, this is only my second video but I'm, I'm also very excited to be back here I'm excited to, to make content for the two um, so yeah gonna get on with today's today's pool session um, and then we'll get home get some food and uh, the first meal after training is the best meal of the day I told you it was the greatest meal. Best, best meal of the day. Um, and this is one thing that has not changed. 16 weeks into the cup, this hasn't changed throughout pre, post-workout nutrition. To me, it's so important from a performance point of view, but also from a recovery point of view. The amount of food that goes in peri-workout stays exactly the same. So we've got some oat milk, whey, and cereal in here. Um, I opt for, for a rice-based cereal um, just because it, it digests better for myself. Um, Post-workout nutrition, I kind of follow a, a what I call a, a two-hour principle and I do this with myself um, because I've, I've just found it to be the most beneficial but I also typically run this with like 90% of clients as well just because again it, it seems to work best for them. So I'll kind of take the approach of two post-workout meals so about 30 to 45 minutes post-workout will go in with this meal just here so carb and protein something that's going to hit me nice and fast um, and, and aid in, in recovery about two hours post-workout we then go in with a meal that has got a, a full spectrum of, of all three macros so we go in with some fats as well um, and you'll see today that that's going to be some rice chicken guac and peppers so, I'm gonna eat this, shower, uh, get changed, and then like I say, around about that two hour post-workout mark, we'll, uh, we'll go in with that second meal. For evil reaches from the crypt to crush him in its icy grip. The foulness stenches in the air. Okay, the time is half past four. I'm gonna go in with meal number four. Um, so we've got 300 grams of skier yogurt, 30 grams of blueberries, and 50 grams of strawberries. Um, this is actually supposed to be 50 grams of raspberries, but raspberries seem to be really difficult to come by at the moment, so at the minute it's strawberries. Second favorite meal of the day. Um, also second from last, so we've got one more meal left after this, which will go in about half seven. So we've got a nice kind of two hour period before bed so that we've not got food lying in our stomach before we're trying to sleep. Um, so I'm going to eat this, get on with the last few hours of the working day, and then I'll show you all the chicken salad I'm going to be making. And then we'll wrap up the video for the day. Okay, it is almost time to go in with meal five, um, but before I show you guys that, I just want to walk you through my two evening supplements. I know I didn't go over morning supplements, but I'm sure I'll cover that at some point. We've got our magnesium, help drive me into a parasympathetic state, rest and digest, ready for bed. We've then got our curcumin, which is curcumin from Train by JP. The only reason I take this in the evening is just so that it's as far away from training as possible, um, and I'm using this to help with inflammation. Um, obviously all over just based on the sport of bodybuilding that I partake in um, but also to help with my wrists I've had some wrist troubles over the years um, which has been helped by some rehab work and whatnot but this was sort of the final piece in the puzzle and we've also got my 
god awful blue light blockers which I pop over the top of my glasses about two hours before bed. So here we go, we are rounding off a productive day, good coaching day, good training day, um, and we are finishing off with a chicken salad. So we have got chicken, lettuce, beetroot, um, 30 grams of a Caesar salad dressing, and half of a white pita bread. Um, because, you know, carb, carbs are getting lower now, so only half a pit of bread, but I really enjoy the volume of this meal. I'm kind of at that, that point of cutting now where it's all about volume in terms of food because it's very, very easy for people to wonder why they're feeling so kind of... Um, you're still hungry with volume, but it just kind of tricks you up here, so it's important to get in, you know, plenty of salad veg to, to bulk up a meal and, and trigger those... Uh, stretch receptors in the stomach to to trick the mind so that is the video for today thank you all for watching make sure you hit the like button drop a comment down below if you enjoyed the video and make sure you're subscribed i'm having to get used to going 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 over the youtube reel um but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one